Hey crystals, welcome back to my channel. So this vlog, you're going to be getting ready with me to travel. Guess where you think I'm traveling? And no, I'm not traveling to Nigeria. It's another country I'm traveling to. Uh, it's I think it's within Europe. So just put down your guesses in the subject. Um, <laughs> the subject symbol in the comment section down below where you think I'll be traveling to. And I'm going to be traveling alone, even though I'm going to go and meet people where I'm traveling to. And my sister booked my plane ticket because i told her i wanted to travel from Heathrow, which i thought was close to me so she bought, got me a ba flight which only takes which is only allowing me to take a hand luggage so and it's very tiny and i'm going to be there for two weeks so i don't know how i'm going to fit two weeks worth of clothing into a small tiny handbag but i wanted easy day but anywho it doesn't matter uh so i'm going to go to i went to primark yesterday to go and see the hand luggages they were so tiny so i was like trying to see if i could pay for extra luggage but that would cost me 60 pounds extra and i'm like i don't know if i want to do that so i'm probably just gonna have to squeeze and get like just use the small because even the hand luggage i have to go and buy because i don't have a small hand luggage so i have to go and buy that one and that's going to cost me like 30 pounds already so my room is currently a mess so i'm not going to show you around you probably tidy along with me but i want to tidy it up because when my room is a mess it just ugh, it just i always feel like what if someone comes to visit me is this how you see my room but anywho um i'm going to tidy my room now have my bath brush my teeth and all that and then go and get my bag and then this week you're just going to go with me and like for all my preparation i have to go and print out some stuff i have to get my covid test done which i'm going to do on friday because i think i'm traveling on saturday so yeah you guys are just going to come with me as i get ready to travel don't forget to guess where you think i'm traveling to the comment section <laughs> yo crystal so i am ready to go to the shops and i need to get a case for my washing soap i need to get black jeans because my top shop you know what i can't even be bothered to show you guys my top shop jeans i've had it for like a year now but you know how i have big ties so they're always rubbing against each other it, 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 i think yesterday when i bent that with top so this place has done so i have to buy new jeans for primark when i come back from my holiday i'll get top shop jeans um i need to get a suitcase no what bag is this i wrote bag but i don't know what the bag is for damn i have to think I need to get a suitcase obviously and then black balaclava black balaclava i have one but i want to get another one because i feel like that one has started to i don't know i feel ugh, with it because i'm using for a while now so i want to get another one and that's basically what i'm going to do let's go to prime money sorry it's not that cold today that's why i'm not really covered but i like to cover my chest now i don't know because i feel like i've gotten a cold before because my chest used to be me so that's why i bought this so I cover my chest and I'm wearing these leggings I got from Primark. This is from Nigeria. Primark also main section. And yeah. And the fight girl from God. The, and these are all the jeans that I've picked up to try. Ripped, skinny, straight, different styles. I need jeans, so I want to try try. And so that's what I'm going to do. I hope you guys can hear me because I don't want to shout those people there. So this is the bad girls I'm getting. Yeah, I like the fit. I'm thinking of getting uh, these two jeans. Love the way they fit. My suitcase and my balaclava, and that's what I'm getting from here. Guys, crystals. I'm back. I had to settle for this bag. Look at how tiny this bag is. Oh, I know you're seeing on the bed. Is what I plan on taking. I hope you to be able to enter. But this is the bag I had to settle for. I was going to get the other hat shell case one. The one that opens and then you can put some. But I don't know. I just felt like this one had more space because it has um things that you can just put things and then it had the zip. That one was just I don't have to describe it, it was just the space inside and that was it. So I'm going to just pack all this in here so that I see what I have. I bought biscuits for my auntie. She asked me to buy biscuits for her, so um that's what this is and i cannot not take it so we'll just see how it goes sha. right now i'm just going to wash my hand eat pack and flex <laughs> but that's what i'm doing guys oh my god okay so you have abimbala from the future here and i'm about to explain the clip here about which so i traveled well i'm where i traveled to and prior to that i did not tell my pastor he was in nigeria for reboot camp global I edit pictures, I, I sing and use my camera. So 
before I traveled, I was not planning on telling anybody because I didn't see myself as an important person. Like, oh, if I don't show up on Sunday, probably some people will call me because I do some things in church. Like I, like I said, I did video. So some people don't come. Oh, I've been where are you? Where's your camera and all that? So I was just like, you know what? It will make sense for me not to tell those people. So I did tell them that. Oh, I'll be traveling. And I didn't tell my pastor, Pastor Peter. So he came back to the UK and he called me and he was like, Oh, Abimbala, how are you? Like, ra ra ra. And am I doing anything for Christmas? And I told him that I was traveling. And I was like, And you didn't tell me. And I couldn't really explain it because I had thought about it, but I didn't see myself as like an important person in church. Like, if I was not in church, like, I don't think anyone would like really, really like notice my absence or like, I, I didn't feel like important like i didn't feel like oh she's traveling like she needs it i don't know how to describe it but i just didn't tell my pastor that i was traveling and then when he called me and he spoke to me made me realize that i should have told him like i'm not unimportant like everybody's important but like not that i'm more important than everybody but like everyone is important like you should have like at least let your pastor know that you're traveling and it made me understand that i should what i do was wrong basically that's what you're just about to say i just wanted to explain the whole like situation that i just about to watch like yeah i didn't tell my pastor that i was traveling because i felt like unimportant yeah not in a bad way i don't know oh i don't know just let me shut up here i just hope you guys get what i'm saying i just felt that um i don't know i don't know no no okay maybe we should do something open your bible yes okay sir it's open okay it was chapter 13 right. verse 17. open wait <laughs> Have confidence in your leaders and submit to the authority, authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account do this so that their work will be a journey burden for that will be of no benefit to you. <laughs> Have confidence in your leaders and submit to the authority because they keep watch over you as those who give an account do this so that their work will be their work will be a journey not a burden for that will be of no benefit to you. Okay. 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 Obey those who rule over you and be submissive for they watch out for your souls as those who okay. souls okay, continue. as those who give an account let them do so with joy and not with grief for that will not be that will be unprofitable for you. Okay. If Jesus asks me where he's at, and I cannot say, ah, she's going to. Maybe tonight, maybe the question you have to ask yourself in an introspective manner is, oh, is it past or better by past? Yes, sir. And so when you're able to find an answer to that, you now understand how important who I'm talking to you about this. Yes, sir. You, you play a very crucial role. Do you know if I am leaving or if I'm coming back? And I don't even know that you're planning to travel. And then you're planning to travel for three weeks. Ah. Um, I'm just thinking about it now, yeah. And I'm seeing that, yeah, what is wrong. I didn't tell you. Okay. Thank you. Thank I'm sorry you so about much. that, sir. I know you make a I smile through the pain. Wet in the world with you now. God is in control. God is in control. Wet in the worry. Why should you worry? So, I'm going downstairs and I'm going to the laundry room. I want to go and wash my sneakers. I just clocked that. I don't plan on putting it in the dryer because I don't know if it's safe. Like, if heat will make all the glow and whatever holding the shoe together to come apart. So, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the dryer. So, what I want to do is. It doesn't even make sense because what my plan was to use my heater to dry it. So I don't know if there's a difference if I should just put it in the dryer. So I was thinking if I was not going to put it in the dryer, I need to wash it early so that I can have enough time to dry because that's what I want to wear. But let me check if it's safe to put your sneakers. Is it safe to is it safe to put your sneakers in the dryer? <laughs> A word of warning though, don't put your shoes in the dryer. The high temperature can damage the glue that holds them together. And it may even cause certain fabrics or materials to shrink. I don't care about that. Is it bad to put sneakers? Never put your sneakers in the dryer as the heat may wrap them or damage the glue that keeps them together. Is it say, oh my god, say this the dryer will 100 damage your shoes, don't put it in the dryer. Uh, wet in the world with you now. God is in control. So I'm not going to put it in the dryer. I'm just going to pre-use my heater to dry it. Like, I'll just put it in front of my heater and hopefully it gets dry. And hopefully the machine spins all the water, most of the water out of it so that it dries quickly because I'm traveling two days. Yeah, one, two, yeah, two days. So washing these sneakers that I got from Primark, they really served me well. And then this one is one that is really dirty. Like I wanted to wear it out the other day, and it was so dirty. I was like, nah, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? Cause I look at people's shoes and I see when it's dirty, especially sneakers. I be like, are you not embarrassed? So I was like, I can't wear this out, and I'm traveling. So I'm going to wash these Nike ones. I think this will be the second time I'm washing my Nike sneakers. I've washed it before in the washing machine before. Because anybody got time to be using your hands to wash sneakers? Anybody got time for that? <coughs> so yeah. Crystals. 
the time is officially drawing now. I'm traveling tomorrow. So I'm going to go and do my COVID test. Hopefully I get it early because I have to upload documents on be a website so that they will let me board. So I'm going to do my COVID test now. I've never done a COVID test. Like I've never ever ever done a COVID test. So this is going to be new for me. So obviously I'm going to try and vlog with my phone. I, do we have to vlog with my phone? <laughs> oh my god. Is that I use my is either I use my front or my back camera and I'll reduce my brightness so much and I'll just put it out so that it look like I'm not doing anything with my phone like I'm just holding my phone normally that's how I always feel, feel in public with my phone but we'll see okay I'm off now you guys okay so i don't know if this is my favorite verse but it's a verse that i recite to myself every time i get anxious i'm looking to my viewfinder here um um be anxious for nothing but everything by prayer and supplication let your request be made known to god because i did my covid test and it's meant to come in this midnight but i still haven't gotten it it's 11 let me check the time it's 11 43 now and i'm waiting for my covid test to come in like i have been anxiously waiting for it and i don't want to be anxious so i'm like you know what let me not be anxious um yeah um i don't want to be anxious but if my test come doesn't come in i'm going to, oh god you guys but i will not be anxious in jesus name but anyway yeah i keep looking at the viewfinder it's bad when i'm editing i'm going to be annoyed at myself but pink black girl